Hey guys, welcome back. Patrick here. Today we're going to be taking a look at typography and how that is incorporated into the Bootstrap framework. Another thing we're going to be taking a look at is incorporating our own custom fonts, which we're going to pull directly from the Google resources that are out there available. So let's take a look at where we left off. Um, in order for us to do start doing some more typographical things, we're going to need to actually start adding some typography. Uh, one of the old printer things that printers used to do is use lorem ipsum text, and this is is just acts as general filler. So let's go ahead and just pull a little generic lorem ipsum text off lorem ipsum.com. And we're going to add that into our page. So we have this in a row right now. We're going to start a new row, but we're going to keep it and we're going to get it outside of that container. So the first thing we're going to need to do is actually move that well out. We're going to put that well in that row. Save that, refresh. Okay, notice no difference. There is a big difference. We're going to add a header text within this container as well as a new row. So let's start a new row. Div class equals row. All right, and so we're going to do a header this time around in this row. So div class equals, and this is going to be call, and I want this to span all the way across, so we'll do extra small 12, close that, and div, okay, so that's going to be h. And we'll do H2 on that, so that's a second level header. And we'll be, we'll say important information. And go ahead and actually before we close that up, let's add some small. We're gonna add another class in here called small. And what this is gonna do is add a little subtext. Close up small, and then we'll close up our header to level two. All right, so uh, we're gonna close. We're gonna leave this row as is. So this always goes all the way across. We're gonna start a new row this time. So let's close up this row, and let's start a new row right below. Now, if we want to right here, we could actually do two columns of text. So why don't we just do that just for aesthetic reasons, and then we'll have it switch down to one column of text at a later point. So let's go div row call small six call extra small 12. All right, that's good. And we'll just do a paragraph right there, add our lorem ipsum text. I'm going to scale this down a bit, otherwise it's going to be kind of spammy. Close that paragraph up. And we're going to close this div tag up. Copy that. Paste it. So we have two texts right there. So in that paragraph, in that paragraph. It looks good. My div closes that row. Do we want that? <clears throat> then we need that container closed. Okay, so that container needs to be closed. Just close that up. All right, let's take a look at that. Save, refresh. All right, perfect. Um, one thing that I would suggest is we insert a small little break right here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll just do br is the quick command on that. Hit save, refresh. All right. All 
All right, now we're starting to get somewhere. You'll notice that if we resize that, our images still need to be tweaked a little bit because they're all falling in the same thing. This is all getting resized properly. What we can do in order to fix that issue with the images is that we need them centered. Uh, so one of the things we could do is, is set a max width on them as well as, as uh, center them. So um, we can look at that in the next tutorial. All right, uh, next thing we're going to go into is, is changing the typography through Google. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Google fonts. So we'll go Google fonts and take a look at their library. All right, you can see they have tons of stuff. We can go over to paper and start looking at all the different things they have. So let's go ahead and pick a font from here. And we'll go down, let's pick something nice. I am actually looking for a specific style. Perfect, add to collection. All right, so from here we can go to review and we can actually take a look at all the different ways it can be organized. And this looks pretty nice. I like this kind of old school uh, typewriter type look. So let's go ahead and use it. Now there's two different ways we can do it. We can download this locally and reference it from our computer. Or the other, where, other way we can use is Google CDN network. So I think Google CDN network is probably the preferred method. I'm going to go ahead and select the bold version of that. That enables us to use the bold one. All right, next we're going to need to take this little code right here. And we're just going to copy that. And that's going to add the font to, it's going to create a style sheet that adds that font to it. So we'll just need to go up top here and stick that font right there. All right, so now that's incorporated in there. And then the final thing we're going to have to do is you overwrite with this code right here. All right, so in order for this to work, we're going to need to take a look at the body. We'll go body, that up. And this is just going to overwrite everything in the body and add our font. Uh, we're probably going to want to have a base font that we know everyone's going to have. So we'll just switch that over to Arial. Go ahead and hit save on that. And then we'll go ahead and hit save on this. And now when we come back over to our page and hit refresh, you can now see that we have customized everything to go with our page. All right, so as we continue building this, this site is going to gradually improve. Uh, you can see I have a very minimalist uh, look to everything that I like to do. I uh, hope you enjoy my style on this, and I hope you're learning a lot. Thank you again, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.